This is a new toy that just arrived and let's see what it is. This button is a little bit bad, but we'll take care of it. Let's test some functions. I have a cable here. Okay. Oh. There is a very bad pin roller there. Mm. There is a pin roller that has turned to goo. And I see a green thing here, and this is probably the problem that made this button work like that. So, this thing has a problematic pinch roller, let's see. Can you see it there? There is a pinch roll that is absolutely bad and uh, we will have to take care of this thing and see what we can do. Uh, other functions seem to work okay. Okay, um, the pin roller will have to be taken care of. And uh, now let's see the condition of the heads. Okay, let me put some glasses on to be able to look at it closer. The head seems to be in an okay state. Let's see. Uh, there is a bearing there. There is a bearing there. Originally, there should not be a bearing there, but anyway. And uh, let's see.
the motor seems to be turning fine okay so our first our biggest problem now is the pinch roller I don't know if you can see it The pinch roller, I've heard of uh, some pinch roller turning to goo, polyurethane pinch rollers. And this is probably what has happened to this one too. So, we will have to find a solution for the pinch roller first and then we can go on to other to repairs if necessary. Okay, that's it for today. Something else I noticed that uh, there is a sticker that this machine is uh, serviced on August of, of 2007. Uh, I can see here that uh, some plugs are uh, replaced. I think so, I don't know, but this white thing looks like it's a replaced plug. Uh, the, this is uh, most probably when they replaced the pinch roller with that uh, with that uh, bad one that uh, turned to goo and spilled inside the machine on various places, which I will uh, have to find out where and clean it. And that's it. So, this is all we could see now with uh, this Rebox. Let's open it and see what we find inside. Okay. To take the back cover off, what we only have to do is take four screws from the back of the machine. Let's unscrew them. Looks like the, the melted pinch roller has flown down to the bottom of the machine. I will, I will show this in a minute. Look at, look at that here, you see, that, that green thing, let me open the light, can you see that green thing here, this is the pinch roller, there's some kind of hair here, I imported the hair from Germany, anyway, so that green thing here is the melted pinch roller that has gone here to the back, okay, I will have to clean all this, Okay, so after removing the screws, we have to take out the remote control dummy plug here, this, this is it, and then we just lift the back cover and it goes away. Okay, let's see what we got here. There is the machine. Okay. I will continue the video with my phone so that I can hold it on my hand and speak about the various components of the machine. So this is the machine. It's opened from the back and uh, let's have a look what we have. Here, 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 here and there. We have uh, the old Rifa cups, which are not replaced, but this resistor here seems to be replaced. The original is a uh, cylinder type one, cylinder shaped. Uh, 
I don't understand somebody replaced this uh, resistor but didn't bother replacing these caps. The machine seems to be recapped, not fully, but anyway, this capacitor there is new. And looking at the amplifier boards, I can see, do, do you see that capacitor here, here, and the other there? These capacitors are replaced, which uh, looks like there is some sort of service on the machine. Let's see the other capacitors. Uh, this capacitor is replaced, this capacitor is replaced. I can see that the calibration potentiometers, these are also replaced, which is uh, there, which is uh, good, saves me some time because I would do it also. There is another potentiometer replaced. Let's see. Uh -huh. So, this is a MK4 machine and I hand it specifically for this one because it has an IC speed control board do you see, let me change hands here, do you see that I see there, and there is another one there, okay, this is how it goes, this is the speed control board, okay, it controls the speed of the motor, uh, the motor is, looks fine, it's a little bit dirty. I will open it and clean it. Okay. Uh, it is a little bit dirty, but it looks okay and it turns relatively freely. Okay, that's fine. Uh, the I hunted for the MK4 model because the MK4 model has the IC speed control board, which is this one. Uh, and uh, this is uh, a good thing because this can be converted to vary speed, meaning I can have a potentiometer and with it I can control uh, the speed of the machine and uh, create uh, some uh, nice effects like that. Okay, uh, so I w this is my project for the future, maybe. Anyway, uh, actually, I don't understand. Somebody bothered replacing so many capacitors and potentiometers and didn't bother changing these RIFA caps. I mean, everybody does this. It's, it's the first job somebody has to do on, on the NA77. But anyway, not all caps are replaced. We can see here that the power supply caps, this one and this one, these are not replaced, these are the original ones, as well as the motor caps here, it's three motor caps, three motor, three motor caps, that's one, two, and three there. They are not replaced, but uh, they don't have to be replaced if they work okay. If anybody thinks that uh, he should do a full service, he could just replace them. The cost is uh, not that much. Um, let's see, I don't see anything else obvious. Uh, that's all with the machine. I will now close it back. This motor also looks to be okay. The heads are also okay. Um, the motor, it's okay, works freely. <laughs> yeah, this this board has one uh, one cap from the back and one cap from the front. That's how it is, originally, and that's how it's done by the guy who serviced this. Uh, 
Okay, so my first job is replace the RIFA caps. One, two, three, four. These resistors are okay here, that and the other resistor there. This means that these RIFA caps, these RIFA caps have not failed. Okay, which is a good thing. Um, when they fail, the first thing that somebody notices is that these resistors are burned. Okay, so these resistors are not burned, the RIFA caps are okay, but I will replace them anyway. I have new ones anyway, so I will do it. After doing this cap, these three, four caps, this is, there is a fourth one there, uh, this one is not uh, stressed that much like these three are, so this is not very, very important to replace, but uh, I will replace this when I, when I take out this board to make the modification to vary speed, that's when I will bother with this cap here also. I'm closing now the machine and I will continue with another video later. So this is the new A77. We will strip it uh, further now and see how much damage this melted pinch roller has done and try to clean as much as possible. So in order to strip this machine we take all these knobs out. Then we, we press down these two buttons and we lift the front cover. Okay. So, hmm. here we can we can see in there can you, I don't know if you can see it there is a toothed uh, maybe you can see it no. so there is a there is a belt with teeth which is uh, it, it is very strange to find it here on an old machine. Normally they are all uh, finished, but uh, this is still there. I don't know in the condition of it anyway, but as I see, we are missing a belt here to move that. Anyway, let's move on. Let's move on to the bottom plate. Be careful with these two screws to Take all the washers out when you lift them. Actually, the washers are still in there, but I will bring small pliers to be able to take them out. There you are. Be 
let's take the other screw out here. Should we now be able to lift this or not? I don't know, I don't remember at all. But uh... Uh -huh. yeah, we just lift it like that. Trying to figure out the damage of this polyethylene thing. Um, okay, looks like I will have to take out the EU meters to be able to check the damage in it there. There is significant damage in there, but I hope it's. Fixable. Okay. Let's take out the meters. Look what has happened here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's full. It's green. Everything is green in here. That, that button there is badly damaged because the gooish material from the pinch roller has, has been on the contacts. So uh, I'm thinking of which would be the way to clean it. 
And I think the only solution will be that uh, I take this board out and, and try to clean it. This is such a stupid dumbass. Anyway, I will have to take a good picture of all the cables that finish on this board so that I disconnect them and uh, keep the picture as a reference. I'm a little bit afraid that keeping that video open I will damage it. So I will first try to clean this, close it and then work further on this area. I will I will try to take care of this goo with IPA. And see if it works. I know the best solution would be acetate, but uh, acetate uh, may damage the plastics. So I will first avoid using it and if, if I don't succeed I will try some other solution. So, this material is not coming out easily. But it is also not affecting the, the, the value matter. So,
I may well leave it as it is and have a, have a permanent uh, green spot there, which I don't mind at all. I don't have problem with cosmetics. I mostly care about the thing to work correctly at first and then after making it work correctly I will try to see if I can take care of the cosmetics also. show you a little bit closer to the situation and I will stop the video now because it's taking too long so I will I don't know if you can see the situation here roller I will uh, try and clean the, the motor a little bit okay to clean the motor we we'll just have to pull that thing to the side here just like that And it looks like also a bit oily in here. So there must have probably been too much oil in the motor and it spilled out. in there
we are. Well, I I cleaned everything I could. Now that button works. It doesn't work uh, that easy like this one. But if you press it, it remains there and it uh, does what it has to do. For the pinch roller, what I did is I just found these things. These are oil rings. They oil seals. They are. And uh, you can find them in uh, various sizes. And I found this size that fits in here. Uh, it's not a permanent solution. Have a look. It does the job. It's not a permanent solution. It's a temporary solution. And with this solution you, you can uh, do further tests until a proper uh, pinch roller comes from uh, whenever from wherever you order it so if you have to wait two three four weeks i don't know for a proper pinch roller to arrive you can use this solution and this will let you do further tests the only problem of this solution is the uh, big wow and flutter but you can uh, you can make calibrations, you can uh, do other stuff uh, because the frequency report, uh, response is not that much affected. The problem is that, as you may see, that the tape is moving a little bit and this is not a good thing when you try and test. But if you just want to, to try stuff on the machine, then uh, this will do the job for uh, some time. That's it.